Hello and welcome. It's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. I hope you're having a great day. Unfortunately, your day might be about to get a little bit worse. I've just found out today that Twitch has been hacked and they've been hacked very badly. 125 gigabytes of data has been leaked via 4chan and is being shared around various torrent sites right now using the magnet links to download that full file set. It's been independently verified by a number of different news outlets. And in this video, I'm going to be going through some of the details of the leak. There's a lot to get through here, but I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible so you can digest as much information as possible in a short space of time. If you find it useful and you want more news, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Let's do this. So I first came across this leak from this user here, Sinoc229. At this point, 13,000 likes, a lot of quote retweets and so on and so forth. The most important takeaway initially from this is that your passwords have probably been leaked and it is the entirety of Twitch that has been leaked. And we'll get into some of the details about exactly what that means, but your passwords will be hashed encrypted passwords. So you do have time now to change your password, but I would do it straight away. I literally would do that right now. It's just not worth waiting to get hacked, which is a likely scenario for some people if you don't change passwords fairly soon. I would also strongly encourage going into your account settings here and clicking on the security and privacy section and enabling two-factor authentication. If you're not sure whether or not this is enabled, you just click on this and it will say here whether it's been enabled or not and you can use it through the Authenticator app or text messages as backup. So as far as I'm aware, the earliest news report from a news website was Video Games Chronicle VGC here. They reported it and I've investigated some of these facts just so that you don't have to. It's essentially a 100 125 gigabyte torrent that's leaked via 4chan and it was leaked today around about four or five hours ago. I've got 4chan open here. I've seen where this is leaked to and the link to the magnet. It is true. It's definitely been leaked. And here is a copy of the message that was leaked on top of it. I'm crediting size of .cat for this post, but it's not these guys that have actually done the leak themselves. These guys are just reporting what that message was. We bring you today an extremely poggers leak, which is an American video live streaming service that focuses on video game live streaming including broadcasts of esports competitions operated by Twitch Interactive, a subsidiary of Amazon. Now, here's the important bit. Their community is also a disgusting, toxic cesspool. So to foster more disruption and competition in the video game streaming space, we have completely pwned them. And in part one, implying there could be more parts to this, the source code from almost 6,000 internal Git repositories, including. So here's exactly what's been included in this leak. It's the entirety of Twitch, including source code of the mobile and and also the desktop versions of Twitch. There's commit history going back a very, very long time. So there's changes and things like that within the GitHubs. There's various proprietary software development kits that have been leaked and also information about AWS, which is Amazon Web Services, which is the server support network that basically Twitch runs on, which is also owned by Amazon. These are obviously quite alarming things that have been released at this point because it's all security related information, not just about the infrastructure, but also about the way that the site is actually developed and obviously that means that someone could come along and try and exploit vulnerabilities in Twitch. Now, Twitch is already having a really hard time with stuff like this. Even just yesterday, Ofcom in the UK came out and said specifically with Twitch and a couple of other websites that they need to do better at age verification and things like that. I'll link the article below to this BBC website that goes into detail about this. But more on the leak itself. We're not done here. There's so much more to go into here. There's information about Twitch's internal security protocols, including red teaming tools, which is an initiative that Twitch have, Amazon have, to have people pretend to be hackers so that they can figure out how to hack better, I think, uh, along those lines anyway. At the moment, it's unclear whether this is correct in terms of the actual values, but there's also been leaks about the revenue between August 2019 to October 21 of all of the top streamers. Obviously, we can see some big numbers here. Asmund Gold did come out on stream just a second ago and say that his number was incorrect, although I've got to be honest, he didn't sound very convincing. However, we've got to take him at his word, but make up your own minds on that. Alongside these things, there's also been some leaks about about a Steam competitor that Amazon is developing called Vapor. Now, I don't know about you, but Vapor and Steam are very similar things. I think that's a little bit of a cheeky name for Amazon to use, for Twitch to use as a competitor to Steam. But Amazon already do have Amazon games, and that is very much akin to sort of the style of Steam. It's nowhere near as good as Steam. It's not even as good as Epic Games, but they have been developing that type of thing. So that shouldn't be a surprise for too many people. The 125 gigabytes worth of data, and that is a big 
big breach of data is very extensive and very wide ranging and people are still trying to understand exactly what is in there. I've tried to give you a flavor of what is in there, but there's also some more stuff from CNOC here about some new developments that Amazon are working on, including some 3D emote renders. So if you're a streamer or you're a viewer, I'd strongly recommend resetting your password. If you're a streamer in particular, and this is definitely relevant to my channel and the stuff that I do, you're probably also then going to have to re-authenticate your stream deck if you have one. Your OBS or Streamlabs OBS or whatever broadcasting software you use to actually authenticate to stream onto Twitch. Just looking at Twitch's status page at the moment, everything seems to be completely operational. And at the moment, it doesn't look like Twitch have even acknowledged that the leak has happened. But many people, myself included, are reporting that that they're being asked to update passwords or that they're having trouble to access even viewing other people's streams when they do access Twitch. Let me know what you think of this. I can sort of see why someone would go to the effort to leak information about Twitch at the moment. There's been a lot of bad press and Twitch do need to do better. However, leaking the entirety of their proprietary information, security protocols, source code and user data, in this case hashed passwords, is not the right way to go about it. It is a criminal act and it's not something I would ever agree with or encourage at all. It'll be interesting to see what Twitch's response is in the next 24 hours to this. Once again, if you found this useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel because I do loads of streaming content and have a nice day. Take care.